In this video, I will be discussing two questions that have been asked about my story videos. The first question um, is, how come Knuckles was built by Sergio and Destiny, but used Ace to spy? So, the reason why they asked this question is because in the first book, Absent of Light, Knuckles is actually the one at Seven Sons to introduce himself of Ace's team. And they thought this was spying, but in other words, Ace knows his team very well. He also knows Major very well. So, if he went along there with his team, it wouldn't have gone well instantly. But because... Knuckles is a robot, Major's more inclined to trust him, and plus, he was built so recently that Major doesn't even know him, so the trust level is, like, equal at the moment, like, I don't know you, so I'm going to trust you to a certain degree, but if you cross that line, I'm going to do something about it, but if you earn more my respect i'm going to treat you more of a close friend and ace is the team leader of his team knuckles at the beginning of when he was made yes was treated like a robot but as he grew they realized that he had more of a he actually had a personality and became more of an asset and when he does go on missions that potentially are suicidal to a flesh person. And this specific mission, going to meet Major, is classified as a suicide mission. Because Major is in the state of, I just got out of prison, I don't trust anybody. And if anybody... Um, like ruins that trust I'm going to kill them instantly to take away that threat and that's one of the main reasons why Knuckles was sent because um, in the story videos um, you learn a lot about the characters and what each individual characters are and so if any other member went including Ace she doesn't know if Ace is on her team or not because the last time she met with up uh, with Ace, he had abandoned the galaxy. So she doesn't know if he can trust her or not. And his other members of his team, why would she trust any member of them? Especially e e Ezra and Elijah. Why would she trust them in the slightest? With the history that they have. Um, destiny. If she met up with Destiny, she might just turn her in to the um, Blood Brothers, because she's in that in that state of like I don't know you, but I know what you are. Sergio and um, and Spike, she wouldn't trust them in a heartbeat. Like they're they're familiar and Imon. Like she doesn't know that Sergio is an Imon, but she definitely is. You know, you're related to a vermilion and you might be one. You have the eye colour, even though they fluctuate in ones. But besides the point, you see? And Riley, like, she doesn't even know Riley. But still, it's like human flesh person, like, telling her about this team and everything else. It's like, I don't know you. Like, you could be a spy to the hangmen. She would more kindly trust a robot that can't be manipulated as easy than a flesh person. And so that's the main reason why Knuckles is used to do this specific mission. Yes, he does do spy work, but the spy work, uh, mainly you, um, he uses Ezra and uh, Riley. 
um, to do those spy works, not Knuckles himself. He was just to do this initial initiation or other specific missions. I hope that is answered that question. And my second question that I was asked is, what are, what is the vegetation on the world? So, in my stories, I ex kind of talk about the worlds and everything else, and I don't really talk a lot about the ve vegetation on the planet. But every single planet that I talk about has its own unique system. It has it um. So each species has not. So all of them, all of them have to eat at some point in their lives. Some of them, like the echoers, the pure echoers, they don't. They never have to eat. But mixed breeds of that same race has to, even if it's just once in their entire life, they still have to, depending on what they're mixed with depending on the other species because there's one species that only eats once in their lifetime um others where they never eat in until and then once they eat they have to continue eating for the rest of their lives so the vegetation depending on the species is what they plant around depending on you know their species because they might not eat but yet they might make the food or the plants um to then dish out and then and then it also comes down to like what you know each planet has its own system so the plants are a bit more harsh but there is plant life there's also animal life on the, on different worlds it's just I generally don't like talking about the that side of the world of the the ground up so to speak. I prefer to be in the middle <laughs> or with um what's going on in the moment and I'll only talk about the vegetation, the foods that they eat or anything in that relation if it is impactful in the story. But if you wish to know more and specifically want to know, like, what kind of plant life or what kind of, like, plants do they, like, make and all this stuff and you really want more specifics, please just, like, comment on those videos and be like, I want more information or comment on this video. Tell me if that's a thing you want. But unless it's related to the story or specific character or something it's related to it I won't add it into it unless it is vital to the story or I don't know something it's just a extra little piece of it again I hope this has answered that question um this um new video series um will be answering these questions so if i have more down the line i will do some more videos um hope this again hopefully um the questions have been answered and i uh, will catch you on the flip side